Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Solasta with me, Bring It On. Uh, before I forget, let's make some arrows and cast mage armor. So I have a 19 armor class, which is the same as my cleric, I think. And my cleric is using a shield, so that's that's really good. Yep, same. And then I'm also going to pop Divine Fortitude. I looked through my powers off camera. This lasts until your next rest. So I should have been using this the entire time. He's going to get a bonus 18 health because it's 3 hit points per cleric level, and we're currently level 6. That's a lot of bonus health. And then a uh, special thanks to a helpful commenter. Uh, last episode, I think I read our protection's description correctly and said saving throws, but when I talked about it later in the episode, I said that it gives you and your allies a bonus to your armor class, which isn't the case. It is, it is saving throws. Also, your auras and passives can be found underneath the use power tab. I assumed it was only actives under the tab, that's why I couldn't find it. I think maybe they should just label this as powers instead of use power since you don't actually use our protection in Herald of Battle. But yeah, speaking of Herald of Battle, uh, this game does treat diagonal tiles as adjacent. Uh, some tile style games like this don't, and I think that's silly, it should, because that is adjacent. So that's uh, really good to note, because I was thinking I had to have my party in like a T formation, but I can keep it in a square like this and still get that uh, bonus on my entire party. So, it's a pretty big deal. There's some armor. Well, that is without a doubt a vampire. Lazaria's taste in minions seems to be improving. We're no one's minions, lady. You defeated her then? I'm almost impressed. As you should be. That's my best chance. 45%. Uh, step away. With a plus 8. We need to speak to your master. You can get out of our way, or try to stop us. <laughs> Kill them! Kill them all! I'm never going to talk my way through a fight. That's alright, I'm sure these vampires aren't the most stand-up citizens, so let's, uh... Let's take care of them. Yeah, they don't seem so tough. I should probably focus on the ads first. I didn't see them over here. Maybe I should have swapped to my torch. Yeah. Oh, we have the daylight spell. Yeah, we need to cast that on these guys. Yeah. Okay, uh, hanging there, Feindall. You should be up there that close anyway. Uh, let's cast daylight. A red, a red day ere the sun rises. So I didn't look for torches in here. I have sparkle. Those on the other side of the wall. Um. I'm going to try this. I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> nope, doesn't work. Worth a shot. Good, counter spell does work like shield. Just as I suspected. Let's get him back here. He does not need to be on the front line. Dark Veil. The Veil of Darkness and Despair covers an area around the Defiler. All creatures except Defilers and their brood have a disadvantage on attacks. I just disadvantage. That's not a big deal. Alright, uh, let's do Sacred Weapon. And Divine Favor. Move him over here to start chopping this guy down. I guess I can move him over here instead. Put him on the front line against the vampire. Cool. Wait, why did Megan's turn get skipped? Yeah. Oh, now she gets to go. That's weird. Oh, she might be... Alright, looks like she's immune to ranged attacks while she's in this darkness. Um... Yeah, 
That's fine. I'm gonna cast it on... I can't do it one of these guys either. What about if I go right here? Is it, uh... I guess because I'm adjacent. Yeah, so it looks like we have to actually be adjacent to the vampires while we're in this darkness. Get a small disadvantage, but I still I have so many bonuses to my attack with her. It doesn't really matter. Rolling Constitution roll against Bite. I'm gonna assume it's some sort of drain attack. Maybe vampires, that's what they do. So, <laughs> that would make sense. I'm gonna haste my Paladin, I think. Oh no, Spirit Guardians. I've heard good things about this. Let's pop that instead. And end his turn. I don't know why she used to go so often. It regenerates health and darkness. I wonder if there's a way for me to get rid of that. I think I'm just going to cast slow. And they all succeeded. Never mind. Cool. <laughs> Tired by spirits, the so speed is halved, and something else. Alright, uh, start swinging, buddy. I'd like for you to land a hit. In fact. Okay. Nice. Okay, not great. Yeah! I really don't like how often she's going. This is silly. <laughs> Alright, uh, can I dispel this? I do have to spell magic. It says I can't target that. Uh, oh, actually, I actually have an idea. Let's get him up here instead. I can haste my paladin too. I don't want to lose that concentration. So actually, let's uh. I can't move him. There we go. I'm gonna move him up here instead, and use turn undead on these guys. that for me. Thank you. Alright, uh, let's try and chill. Actually, you know what? Better idea. They're right next to that window. <laughs> Paladin's probably gonna die because I can't. He never gets to go. She gets to go like every turn. That's insane. Alright, uh, let's heal yourself up. And I guess swap to this, give him some armor class, hopefully he can survive a little longer. Alright, that's one dead. Uh, I guess we take out this one next. It's just the boss. I mean, I like taking out the ads first anyway, so 
This is working out in my favor. And dead. Fantastic. I wonder if casting another Daylight will cancel out this Veil spell. I'm gonna try it. May as well figure it out now. And see what happens. Go stand beside him, give that, that extra armor class bonus as well. And a bonus to attack. And saving throws. And what else does it do? Armor class, attack and damage, that's right. Oh, she moved over here. Why would she do that? She's immune to necrotic. No, she's resistant to it, but she uh, still gets chilled, so she can't heal. <sighs> Alright, please go cut her down. Oh, wrong weapon. No, that's the right one. <laughs> finally, Smiter, <it>, please. <laughs> finally, uh, the Paladin's finally doing something useful. Yeah, smite the heck out A of her. Power bubble hit. Screw that, man. You're going down. You vampire monstrosity. Dark Veil vale again. That's fine. Alright, this is going pretty well. Oh, I should have done this. Yeah, we have you surrounded. I don't think you've got this. Uh, we could try Magic Missile. No, because he's at a distance. That doesn't work. Kill Fandel, I guess. I'm in your debt, my friend. Keep him in the fight a little longer, just in case she gets lucky on this next couple of turns. <laughs> All right, let's try and chop her healing again, or not. Alright, go get her. Or not. I have another Daylight spell available to ca cancel out this Dark Veil again, so I don't know what I'm going to do there. Just got to hope I get lucky at the, the rolls, I guess. Or, or you know, Megan will just cut her down. Because that's what she does. Go to hell! <laughs> I got achievement. We don't negotiate with monsters. You're right, we don't. I mean, I was, I kind of tried to, but in my defense, I didn't actually know she was a vampire. I mean, shouldn't judge based off appearances, you know? Can't judge a book by its cover. Alright, so Aksha's journal. I'll say everybody wants a piece of that. A doom gem and an unidentified potion. Alright, that's an ingredient. We'll give that to Feindall. Now uh, let's loot everything first, then worry about identifying and uh, detecting magic and all that stuff. So a diamond, we'll give that to him. And a primed maze. I think we already have one of those, don't we? We do. Eh, well, wouldn't hurt to have another one. Yeah, that was a super annoying fight. Uh, she got a turn like after every one of my characters' turns. It was that was that was silly. Gold dragon statuette. 
Then crafting Doomblade Greatsword and Doomblade Rapier. That sounds really good. I do like my greatswords. So Prime Rapier and a Doom Gem. Hey, we just picked up a Doom Gem. And a Prime Greatsword and a Doom Gem. I don't think we have a either one of those. Uh, I will definitely go for the uh, the greatsword though. Also, can I read Ox's journal? Yeah. Lazara sent another party of her stupid zombies. One of them was an ogre, as if that would make things harder. Rick and Filth took care of it. I didn't have to walk out. But once you understand that her attempts are useless, I'm getting tired of pretending to ignore who sends these monsters. I'm also getting tired of Marjrocht. The old elf is powerful for sure, but his mind is in decay. While he barricades himself in his solar, I've read all his darn books, but learned almost nothing. A doom gem. It took me forever to imbue it enough power to make it worthwhile. I still understand how the wizards of Mana Colin, uh, could have done it in less than a year. Anyway, uh, now I could use it to craft a nice weapon, but to what end? Killing the Zarya's zombies? I'm losing interest in the project now the difficult part is done. I don't need a magic dagger to make my enemies bleed. Rick is a good minion. He used to be handsome, but undeath doesn't suit him. Now he's just an obedient little pawn. I would guess he was once a, noble a nobleman. I kept his armor and shield. He doesn't need them anymore. A filth was always scum, but, at least she is, but now at least she is of some use. She brings corpses to feed the ghouls, so I don't have to walk through piles of rotting fools. I'm thinking of creating another brood, though. A nice, meaty brood of flesh would be nice. Maybe next month. Oh, his stuff is probably right here, then. Splendid half-plate armor. Okay, let's just go and give that to him. And... Let's identify that potion first. Oh wait, it automatically identified when we picked it up. Alright, let's identify the half plate then. So one more armor class. And that's it. What does it say? Uh, this magical armor is made for a knight of Galavan. His name is engraved underneath the breastplate Ramsey. I like that. I like it. It's quite as clerical looking. It's nice to mix it up. So, and it's better. I should arrest that him. looks like a minor gate. Where do you suppose it goes? To the master's floor, hopefully. Or into the heart of a volcano or somewhere equally unpleasant. So are we going? Why don't you go first? If it's somewhere nice, you can come back and tell us. Let's hold off on that for just a second. I should probably go do a long rest. Since we are currently drained. Um, it might be okay. I mean, he says 52 health. It's not a big deal. So let's, uh, let's go through here. Ugh. Oh, teleporting feels weird. I wonder what this Mardracht is like. If he fought at the Rift, imagine what stories he can tell. Dropping in, unannounced, on a paranoid recluse with untold magical powers. What could possibly go wrong? As I was saying, who knows? We might actually successfully um, convince him not to fight. Maybe a nice a trap of change of pace. I think this slab has triggered something. Oh, okay. It, I saw that on the floor. I thought maybe it was going to be a trap. I think it wasn't. But it does open a door. What was I doing? Oh, wrong character. Need to cast guidance on her. I'm assuming this door is I locked. This slab has triggered something. Easy. Okay, and I'm gonna just keep popping guidance. May as well play it safe.
I know much, yeah. Oh, well, that trap was for the door. Oh, no visible lock on that door, so it can't be opened from here. Okay, okay. What's uh, let's see, what's around here? We might be fooled so easily. So see another mark here. Let's back this way. Probably another trap in one of these grates. Okay, another one of these uh, possible to open things. Yeah. What about these doors here? Just in case it is locked, and I can open it without having to use one of these pressure plates. Let's try. Trap. Cool. Just keep popping guidance. <laughs> it's slow going, but at least it works. Some money, a uh, scroll of raised dead, we'll give that to the cleric. An adventurer's journal. My paladin carry that and read it. Alright, so it actually told me that if we wanted to meet the master, we have to find the stairs and then follow a specific path. Once we find the stairs, we need to go down, go up. After that, she told us to turn right, go up, and then go down one more time. Okay. Seems straightforward enough. Haven't found any stairs yet. Have I? Alright, so this gate opens from this pressure plate. I think the slab has triggered something. So we'll send everybody else through here. A crude trap. There's this door here as well. I might be able to go open that up since it was like this door. Another pressure plate. Crystal of Winter. Frostburn Dagger and Frostburn Longsword. Prime Dagger, Crystal of Winter, and same thing with the Longsword. Is that all that's back here? The pressure plate. I heard some kind of mechanism. Yeah, me too. I guess we don't need to keep this one open. Well, no, he has to stay up here, doesn't he? Can Feindal... I'm going to close my Paladin in real fast. Can Feindal come up here with his uh, spider climb? He cannot. Okay. So we knocked that down, and I guess we can climb over this w once we knock that down, but why would he need to go back over this? Oh, there's a hidden door there. Okay, that would make things a little easier. <laughs> I need someone to probably stand on this place, Fane Doll. I think this slab has triggered something. Actually, let me give this gem to Feindal before I forget. Since he is our enchanter. Alright, so is there a way to open up this door? I think this slab has triggered something. Yep. Just have these guys go forward. I don't know what Feindal, what door Feindal opened, but... Uh, it is definitely open. Okay. Gotta try to keep track of all my, my moves mentally. Okay, another way forward here. So we don't need 
this door or any, don't need to stand on that anymore just need to keep Feindal where he's at Kneel now. well let's try this Rise up later. let's try this door real fast see where this takes us uh Cannot open that one from here. Got it. Well, there's the Dive stairs. The now. That's the first thing we're supposed to do. After we find the stairs, we're supposed to go down. I don't know these pri I need all four people in here. So I'd send Feind all over here. We have to give up the uh, whatever he currently has open. Yeah, you can't go that way, buddy. You're not standing on the pressure plate. You goof. All right, is he only holding up in this door with that? I think that's all he's doing. Hmm. There's a long rest point up four there. Slabs for the four of us. Yep, slabs for the four of us. All right, so the journal said to do the stairs first, right? Let me double check this. So I didn't commit it to memory or anything. Stairs, down, up, right, up, down. So yeah, let's just go to the stairs first. Well, I'll listen to the journal. Okay. This is fun. We haven't run across a puzzle in this, uh, this game yet. A Spectral Avenger. Okay, didn't expect a fight in here either. Maybe I should have taken that long rest I was talking about. <laughs> Engage from him. I'm right, attacking through the wall. <laughs> okay. Next time. Necrotic damage. Alright, well, he's no longer dying. And this should be enough to kill him. No, not no quite. Given. Not quite. Take him down. Lucky? Perhaps. Okay. Whew. 40 damage. That's more than the uh, the vampire did. Really need that uh, long rest spot that we saw. The campfire. Identified potion, some arrows, adventurer's notes, and a chainmail of sturdiness. All right, adventurer's notes. Uh, last night we finally found the stairs. I think Aksha was holding back on us because they're not real stairs, just some kind of symbol. In the morning we'll start again, and this time we'll follow the path to the maze's exit. Uh, I now am very sure the main stair in the middle of the maze is actually the way out. I was right. We followed the sign and it seems to work. We're getting closer to the main stair. Today we found two new symbols and... Wait. I don't think we're alone in the maze. I can hear them coming towards me. We'll move away from that room and try to hide until... 
until death. So yeah, same thing here, and potions of pure healing. Might have to pop some of these potions. I'm gonna drink this one. He's a little banged up. And an arrow. Oh, speaking of arrows, let me go ahead and re-equip some arrows so she doesn't run out in the middle of combat. Alright, uh, where do I go next? So I'd activate that here. I can go through that as well. Alright, uh, let's do this. An R. That looks weird. <laughs> it's similar to some magical wards I've seen, but... Don't touch it! Don't go near it. Don't even look at it. It hasn't done anything yet. <laughs> it doesn't work? I wonder... Don't. Just don't. Perhaps he made a spelling mistake. I hate you. <laughs> Alright, some of the dialogue between companions is... It's hilarious. But like, the actual like, narrative dialogue is a little... Undignified. Disjointed sometimes. Alright, found another way forward. So we need to go... I don't think any of those are right. Right, because we just go up next, right? Uh, Adventurer's Journal, here we go. No, it's just go down next. Okay, so that's the one we go into next. Alright, I'm going to call the episode here. Uh, in the next one, we'll go down and just proceed through this uh, maze. I'm actually enjoying this a little bit. I also enjoyed that fight with the vampires. It was the... Uh, I guess it was the most challenging fight we've done so far. Still wasn't too bad. By the way, uh, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.